In the book of Exodus in the Old Testament, you find the story of Moses who one day is tending a flock of sheep that belonged to his father-in-law, Jethro. But I don't think this is the Jethro that lived anywhere near Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, Jethro, Beverly Hillbillies, nobody? <sighs> Never mind. This Jethro who Moses worked for lived round about Mount Horeb. Anyway, uh, suddenly an angel of the Lord appears to Moses in a flame of fire in a bush. A bush? Yes, in a bush. Moses looks at this burning bush, but it isn't burning up. It's burning, but it isn't. Moses is thinking, this is amazing. This bush is not burning up, but I can clearly see that the bush is on fire. And before Moses can yell, fire, fire, God calls out to him from the burning bush, Moses, Moses. Now, if I'm Moses, I'm thinking, I'm out of here, right? But what does Moses say? Here I am. Here I am? Seriously? I don't know. Burning bush, it doesn't burn up the bush. Then this voice calling my name, Chuck, Chuck. Anyway, you get the idea. Something is definitely up. And we are about to find out what, because we are talking about the burning bush on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. Dun, dun, dun. When last we left Moses, God was speaking to him through a burning bush that wasn't actually burning. All right, this voice is calling his name and Moses isn't going anywhere. Then God says, <clears throat> come no closer. It's just so you know, I've never actually heard the audible voice of God, so I'm just gonna do my best James Earl Jones. Good, all right. Remove the sandals from your feet for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. Then the Lord says, you know, probably in God's actual voice, <clears throat> I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses realizes that this has got to be God talking here. For one thing, James Earl Jones has not been born yet. And then there's this bush burning or not burning, but it is burning anyway. So he hides his face because he is afraid to look at God. Okay, so what's going on here? I mean, what's, what's all this all about? Well, this is where God lets Moses know that he knows all about the Israelites, Moses' people, all about their misery being enslaved in Egypt by Pharaoh. And God assures Moses that he is there to set them free. God is going to deliver the Israelites from slavery and take them where? Nope, not Beverly Hills, told you it's a different Jethro, but to Canaan, yes, a place that God describes as a land of milk and honey. All right, now we're talking. I mean, at least that's, that's what I'm thinking right now, until it's revealed that God's plan is to have Moses be the one to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses is like, whoa, wait, wait, wait a sec, who am I? I can't go to Pharaoh, the almighty ruler of Egypt, and say, hey, let my people go. That's crazy stuff. But God says, don't worry, I'll be with you. And to think, all of that started with Uncle Jed's kinfolk saying, hey, move away from there. Wait, nope, I mean, to think, all of that started with the burning bush. If you'd like to know more, be sure to ask your pastor, Tell them Chuck sent you.